Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are adding another video in the miscellaneous series. We have taken an example of mutual inductance which is available in the application library of Comsol. However, today we will not be talking about mutual inductance. This is taken for the demonstration purpose. Today's topic of discussion is a few housekeeping techniques in Comsol which are necessary if you are working with Comsol, if you are post processing your data or if you are trying to understand the physics in a better way. So, say so this is a mutual inductance problem. You can, you know, in a typical example, typical file of Comsol, you have all those options where there are components and, and under component you have definition you have geometry, material and the physics and then you have meshing, study and all. Suppose you are trying to, you have actually opened up all those options and then you have, you are trying to go back to the previous state, then you can actually do it by this option where you can see the option is collapse all. So if I click here, you can see it went back to the previous window, I mean the previous state. And then another option is there that is expand all. So you can click here and you can see all the options that has been taken in order to model this particular one, this particular problem. So this is sometimes this is necessary because you, do, you don't need to click multiple times because say you want to see an option which is under say copper material. So then you don't need to click again and again. You just click expand all and look for your option. So this is the utility of this particular option. We generally don't use it, but when you are working with console several times, then clicking on those options might help you. Now, another important thing is show more options. So you can see there is a kind of eye symbol. If you hover here, it shows show more options. If I click here, you can see there are multiple options and you have option to check and uncheck it. So initially, let us uncheck all the options and say I click on equation view. So when you click on a particular option, then a message box opens and in the message box it is written what is the purpose of this particular setting. Suppose in equation view, equation view let us just read the, the things which is written by console itself. It, it tells the setting window for equation view sub nodes contains detailed information about the implementation of each physics feature variables shape functions, weak form equation expression and constraints. So things may be a little bit difficult when I when you read it from Comsol, but if we just go there and try to show you something, then things will be a little bit clear to you. So today I will be talking about this equation view. So I click on OK. Now I expand a particular option in the magnetic field Suppose I go to the Ampere's law and if I expand it, you can see the option is now enabled, which is equation view. If you click here, then you can actually see what are the options. Those are the variables which are being solved. So when the simulation runs behind, it basically solves for multiple variables and many times we don't need all the variables it basically solves for. So, uh, but if you want to know what are the variables it is solving, then you need to go to the equation view and you need to check the variable options. And the most important part of this option is even if you don't understand what is there, suppose it is written mf.qh. I may not know what is mf.qh, but uh, from the description, if we if we just read the description, then we have some idea about it. Suppose this is the volumetric loss density electromagnetic. 
So from this nomenclature, we can understand something about it. Then again, if you need more information, then look at the unit. Once you see the unit, then you can understand, okay, this is something which is watt per meter cube. So it is basically density, that, I mean, it is called density because it is by meter cube. So volumetric density, loss density, what is the loss? The power loss. And that is why watt per meter cube. So from those information, we can actually come to know the, I mean, about the system. Now let us go to say magnetic insulation and I go to equation view. Suppose there is an option mf dot jsr. So what is mf dot jsr? It is the surface current density. Now suppose I want to plot it uh, in the result section. So what I can do is I can go here and I can write mf dot jsr and if I click on plot it should come you can also have access to all those uh, I might have not solved it that's why it's not coming so you will get the similar variables if you click here and say I go to magnetic field you can see there are different options and under each options those variables will be defined suppose I go to magnetic and then I go to say magnetic field say magnetic vector potential magnetic field again say this one I want to plot mf dot hr so if I click here So uh, the things are not coming because I have not simulated all the options but if you just simulate it and put these options from either from I mean yeah either from these options like you go there learn about those options and see the variable name that is say mf.jsr and then put it back in order to get the results for, for that particular variable and you may have multiple variables you can just check one by one and sometimes what happens suppose I need to know say volume integral of this parameter across your volumetric space so in that case you have to go for integration option in the post processing I have already talked about it in my previous videos where you have say derived values in derived values you have if you right click here you have options of integration say volumetric surface integration so while you take that option and maybe you are trying to take integral of a particular variable from those table you put it there check the surface or volume or line whatever you choose and then evaluate you will be getting the integral value so i'll be making more videos on this particular topic i hope this was a preliminary video on the topic and it would help you if my videos are helping you i would request you to subscribe to my channel and share my videos so that i get more motivation to upload videos thank you